Now here we have a question involving functions. Okay, let's see uh, what can we do about this one. So here we have f of x is given to you by 3x plus 2. So the first thing you can realize is that is this is a this is a straight line, right? It's 3x plus 2. Now x x can be any real values. Okay. Now we have g of x equal to this one, where x cannot be minus 1.5. Makes sense because we cannot divide by zero. If you think, if you take the value of two times minus one point five plus three, that will be zero. So six cannot divide by zero. If that makes sense. Now, part one of the question, we have to find the value of x for which f g of x is equal to three. So step by step, let's me uh, let me actually do this over here. So first, we have to find out what is f g of x. So pretty easy, that will be f. Put g of x inside of f. That will give you 3 times g of x plus 2. That will be what? 3 times g of x is 6 over 2x plus 3 and then plus 2. That is the value that we have for f g of x. Now we have to equate that to the value of 3. Okay. So step by step, let's send this over here. That will be 3 times 6 will be 18 over the value of 2x plus 3. And that will be giving you the value of 3 minus 2 is 1. We just have to cross multiply. You will have what? You will have equation 2x plus 3 is equal to 18, which is 2x is equal to 15. And next will be 7.5 as your answer. Let's check. 15 divided by 2 will be 7.5. So part 1, the value of x is 7.5. As you can see, we solved it step by step. Now for part 2, we have to sketch in a single diagram the graph of this and the graph of this, making a clear relationship between the two graphs. So for those who have done these kind of questions many, many times, we can see clearly that will be what? That will be a very simple reflection along the y equal to x line. So always, the always, this always happens. So let me write this down. The relationship between a graph and its inverse is what? It is always going to be that case. It is always a reflection in the line y equal to x. So if you guys can just memorize that anytime, just to use this as um, a backup knowledge, that will always be the case. So one by one. So we have the graph of y equal to f of x. So f of x is equal to 3x plus 2. Right. Now you can see this is a simple straight line. So how can we draw this? Let me uh, find two points that we can draw. So let's say x if x equal to, for example, 0, y will be equal to the value of 2. If x equal to the value of, let's say, uh, 3, y will be what? So 3 times 3, so it will be too much. Let me just find a simple value. Let's say 1. y, x equal to 1. 3 times 1 is 1, plus 2 is 5. So simple value. So we have the points 0, 2, and 1, 5 to use. OK. So this is my axis, for example. Again, it is only a sketch. It doesn't need to be exact. Uh, it just needs to be an idea of how it should look like. So the x-axis and the y-axis. This is my x, and this is my y. So 0, 2 should be somewhere over here, for example. And then 1, 5. So 1, 5, let's say it's somewhere over here. Okay, so now we just have to connect those two to form that, that line. It should be something like this. Once you draw this, you can always label this as y equal to f of x. Now we understand that there must be a reflection in the line equal to y equal to x. This is the relationship that we have to always show when we sketch a graph and its inverse. So let's try our best to draw this one. Or you can always just mark this. For example, I can mark this as, as one here. 
and one here so I know that it will be exactly as required so it should be somewhere over here so let's join this with the center to form that that line that we need to show for our marks this will be the line y equal to x so we have to show this line as well for one of the marks now finally we have to show the inverse so the inverse will be one so we just have to kind of reflect that along this so this will be kind of over here right then this will be something here right and then let's see what else this will be somewhere over here as a reflection so we just have to join these two now let me use a different color because it will be confusing I'll use this one and this will be my graph of y equal to f inverse of x as you can see there's a few things here we have to show we have to show this line this line but also this line to get your three marks okay that will be part two of the question now part three we have to express each of this and this in terms of x and solve this equation so let's see how can we do this pretty easy part three so we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 now to find the inverse let's say let f of x equal to y which is y equal to 3x plus 2 now we have to make x become the subject of formula you have to have 3x that will be y minus 2 now x will be y minus 2 divided by 3 so the x become the subject now finally f of inverse of x will be in terms of x we have to write x minus 2 over 3 for this one and next one is we have to find y so g inverse so we know that g of x was given to you by 6 over 2x plus 3 we have to let y equal to g of x which is this over 2x plus 3 we cross multiply you will have 2xy plus 3y equal to 6 we have to make x become the subject so you have 2xy equal to 6 minus 3y so x will become 6 minus 3y divided by 2y so finally f inverse it is in terms of x that will be 6 minus 3x over 2x sorry this is g of x g inverse of x so now we have those two as required here express those two in terms of x done now we have to solve this equation so let's equate that so on one side we have this which is x minus 2 is equal to 6 minus 3x over 2x so we can cross multiply first uh, you will have 2x squared minus 4x is equal to 18 minus 9x now we can send everything to one side you will have 2 x squared minus 4x plus 9x equal to so minus 18 equal to 0 so simplify let's see what do we have you have 2 x squared and then plus 5x minus 18 equal to 0 now again whenever you have a quadratic equation you can just use the formula to solve this if you guys don't know how to solve this by factorization or if you know you can just factorize so we have two brackets because we have x squared 2x squared is just 2x times x 18 could be what let's think 18 could be 1 times 18 2 times 9 or 3 times 6 so we have to choose one pair of them to get plus 5 as the resulting value so which one can we choose we have to do this by trial uh, the first one is definitely not the correct one um, can we choose this one I think yes let's try we have to put 2 here and 9 here if you want to get plus 5 we have to put plus 9 here and then minus 4 that will give me plus 5 so 2x times minus 2 that will be minus 4 and plus 9 times 4 times x will be plus 9 so plus 9 minus 4 will be plus 5 as required so it is always going to be multiplied in this way remember this will multiply with this and this will multiply with this okay so 2x times minus 2 is minus 4 plus plus 9 will be plus 5 as required then we check for this one plus times minus is minus here we have minus so good good factorization x will be the value of 
minus 9 over 2, x will be the value of 5. Well, here obviously the value is not uh, 5, it's 2. Okay, and this will be solving this equation to find those values for 5 marks. Okay, that will be a question regarding the function chapter for paper 1, A level.